Magandang araw mga kasipnayan! Welcome to Sir Ocknick's YouTube channel. In this video, In this video, we will recall central angles, we will define an inscribed angle, and we will identify the relationship between an inscribed angle and its intercepted arc. Let us recall that the measure of the central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. Given this illustration, if the measure of angle XML is 57 degrees, then the measure of arc XL is also 57 degrees because XL is the intercepted arc of angle XML, which is a central angle. Let us try to solve for the value of X in this illustration. The measure of angle A is equal to the measure of arc BC. Substituting the values in the formula, we will then have 6x plus 10 is equal to 100 degrees. By transposition, we will have 6x is equal to 100 minus 10 degrees. Or simply, 6x is equal to 90 degrees. Dividing both sides by 6, we will get x is equal to 15 degrees. An inscribed angle is an angle with its vertex on the circle and whose sides are chords. This illustration is an example of an inscribed angle. The inscribed angle in the circle is angle SPT. Let us identify the inscribed angle in this illustration. We have angle DAE as the inscribed angle. Its intercepted arc is arc DE. Let us now determine the relationship between an inscribed angle and its intercepted arc. The measure of an inscribed angle is half the measure of its intercepted arc. Given this illustration, we have the measure of angle XML equals 29 degrees, while its intercepted arc, which is arc XL, measures 58 degrees. In this illustration, we have the measure of angle RNP equals 42 degrees. Let us identify the measure of arc RP. Since the measure of the uninscribed angle is always half the measure of its intercepted arc, we therefore conclude that the measure of arc RP is equal to 84 degrees. Given this illustration, the measure of arc RE is equal to 142 degrees. Let us identify the measure of angle RDE. The measure of angle RDE is equal to 71 degrees because the measure of an inscribed angle is always half the measure of its intercepted arc. Let 
Let us identify the measure of what is asked based on the figure given. What is the measure of arc-ed? The measure of arc-ed is twice the measure of angle ECD. Because arc ED is the intercepted arc of angle ECD. So that is equal to 2 times 35, which is equal to 70 degrees. Therefore, the measure of arc ED is equal to 70 degrees. Let us identify the measure of angle EBD. Angle EBD is the inscribed angle of arc ED. Therefore, the measure of angle EBD is equal to half the measure of arc DE. That is equal to 1 half times 70 degrees because DE measures 70 degrees. 1 half of 70 degrees is equal to 35 degrees. That means that the measure of angle EBD is equal to 35 degrees. Let us now identify the measure of arc BC. Arc BC is equal to twice the measure of angle CEB. Arc BC is the in intercepted arc of angle CEB. Based on the given figure, the measure of angle CEB is equal to 51 degrees. Therefore, the measure of arc BC is equal to 2 times 51, which is equal to 102 degrees. Let us identify the measure of angle BDC. Angle BDC is the inscribed angle of arc BC. Therefore, the measure of angle BDC is equal to one half the measure of arc BC, which is equal to 102 degrees. Therefore, we will then have one half times 102, which will result to the measure of angle BDC is equal to 51 degrees. Let us now identify the measure of arc BD. Arc BD is the intercepted arc of angle DEB. Therefore, to get the measure of arc BD, all we need to do is multiply the measure of angle DEB twice. That is equal to the measure of arc BD equals 2 times 63 degrees. Or simply, the measure of arc BD is equal to 126 degrees. Let us now identify the measure of arc EC in the illustration. Take note that the measure of arc EC is equal to twice the measure of angle EDC because arc EC is the intercepted arc of angle EDC. But our problem is that we don't know the measure of angle EDC. So we need to find another way for us to be able to identify the measure of arc EC. Take note that the circumference of a circle is 360 degrees. That means that if you are going to add all the measures of all the arcs in a circle, the answer would be 360 degrees. Therefore, 
we can get the measure of arc AC by subtracting the measure of arc AD, arc DB, and arc BC from 360 degrees. Therefore, we will have the measure of arc AC is equal to 360 degrees minus the measure of ED minus the measure of arc DB minus the measure of arc BC, which is equal to 360 degrees minus 298. The sum of the measures of the three arcs is equal to 298. That is 70 plus 126 plus 102, which is equal to 298. Therefore, the measure of arc AC is equal to 62 degrees. Let us try to solve for the value of x in this illustration. We all know that the measure of angle C is equal to the measure of one half the measure of arc BD because angle C is an inscribed angle of arc BD. By substitution, we will have 5x plus 22 equals 1 half times 84. Simplifying the right side, we will then have 5x plus 22 equals 42 degrees. By transposition, we will have 5x equals 42 minus 22, which is equal to 20. Dividing both sides by 5, we will get x is equal to 4 degrees. Since we now have the value of x which is equal to 4 degrees, we may solve for the measures of arc BD and angle BCD. Let us have another example. The measure of angle B is equal to 1 half the measure of arc BC. By substitution, we will have 3x minus 3 equals 1 half times the quantity 4x plus 8. Multiplying both sides by 2 to eliminate 1 half, we will have 6x minus 6 equals 4x plus 8, which is equal to 6x minus 4x equals 8 plus 6 by transposition. Simplifying both sides, we will have 2x is equal to 14. Dividing both sides by 2, to eliminate the numerical coefficient, we will then have x is equal to 7 degrees. Since we now have the value of x which is equal to 7 degrees, we may now identify the measure of arc DC and angle DBC. Let us first try to identify the measure of angle B. The measure of angle B is given by 3x minus 3. Since x is equal to 7, that will be the measure of angle B equals 3 times 7 minus 3 degrees, which is equal to 21 minus 3 or simply 18 degrees. Since angle B is, a, is an inscribed angle, therefore, the measure of its intercepted arc, which is arc BC, measures 36 degrees. Why? Simply because the measure of an inscribed angle is always half the measure of its intercepted arc. Let us now summarize what we have discussed in this video. An inscribed angle is an angle with its vertex on the circle and whose sides are chords. The measure of an inscribed angle is half the measure of its intercepted arc. Let us now check your knowledge. Identify the measures of the following parts. Take note that the G, H, I, J is a quadrilateral. Do not forget to pause this video while doing the activity. Let us now check your work. Take note that GHIJ is a quadrilateral, and the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Therefore, 
the measure of angle H plus the measure of angle I plus the measure of angle J plus the measure of angle G is equal to 360 degrees. By substitution, that is 10x plus 9x plus 42 plus 4x plus 7 plus 5x minus 25 is equal to 360 degrees. Combining all like terms, you will have 28x plus 24 is equal to 360 degrees. By transposition, we will have 28x equals 360 minus 24 or simply 336. Dividing both sides, by 28, we will then arrive at x equals 12 degrees. We may now identify the following measures. If x is equal to 12 degrees, the measure of angle H is given by 5x minus 25. Substituting x by 12, we will have 5 times 12 minus 25, or simply 35 degrees. The measure of angle I is equal to 10x. That will be 10 times 12, which is equal to 120 degrees. The measure of angle G is given by 4x plus 7, which is the same as 4 times 12 plus 7, or simply 55 degrees. The measure of angle J is equal to 9x plus 42. Substituting the value of x which is equal to 12, that is 9 times 12 plus 42 or simply 150 degrees. The measure of arc IJG is twice the measure of angle H. That means that is 2 times 35 or simply 70 degrees. The measure of arc JGH is twice the measure of angle I. So that is 2 times 120 or simply 240 degrees. The measure of arc GHI is twice the measure of angle J. That is 2 times 150 or simply 300 degrees. The measure of arc HIJ is twice the measure of angle G. That is 2 times 55 or simply 110 degrees. Thank you for watching Sir Optics YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math. Enjoy learning! Thank you and God bless!